It's time to bring it all together. Action! As an interior designer, nothing beats being able to do exactly what I want for my own home. It's actually even more beautiful than I thought it would be. So first things first, we've got my secret favorite room of the house, which is the wine cellar. This will hopefully very, very soon be filled with some Bino to welcome everybody. And then we've got our entrance hallway. So on this wall, we are gonna put beautiful board and batten paneling, and we'll have a server and all those beautiful pretty things that will make everyone feel welcome. And then moving on to the mudroom. This is our mudroom slash scullery area. So for those that don't know what a mudroom is, we wanted a space that when the kids come home, they can take their shoes off and hang up their school bags, okay, so we can just kind of hide all that junk that they bring in, basically. And then we've got our scullery area. So this is obviously just your standard functional scullery. So yeah, that is the mudroom slash scullery. So this is our guest cottage. We have a lot of family overseas and in Holland and we just wanted to have a space where we could double up and accommodate them where they still have their privacy but they're part of the family. I can't wait to show you these new finishes I found. I think you're gonna love them. I can't wait to see. I think it's gonna come together so beautifully. The sourcing lab was birthed out of my passion for beautiful finishes and materials. I wanted to create a concept whereby a homeowner or even an architect or a developer could come to us and we could help them with those selections. That way we are their one point of contact for everything. Show me these boards, I'm so excited. Okay, let's get stuck in here. So we need to sign this off today. Um, we need to get manufacturing. A quick run through of the colors that we were looking at for the mudroom, for the scullery, for the wine cellar. This is the thinking. Obviously, it's very monochromatic, but it is still very, very natural. So we need to make sure we've got the perfect blend of the two. We've got all the light finishes on the floor and in the living space, but we wanted to go a little bit more moody in certain areas. So my thinking is this tile, I think, will look beautiful with the oak. And then we've got the Tribeca corner on the joinery. Okay. So yeah, very, very dark, beautiful, yeah. but it's it's moody, it'll look beautiful. And then together with the rugged concrete on the tops. I really like the dark moodiness of like the certain spaces, but I was just thinking as you walk in um, to the house, do you not think that the cellar being a bit dark is gonna like distract your eye and pull your eye there where you know your main yeah. beautiful kitchen is gonna yeah. be your focal point? So totally get what you're saying because <laughs> that was also a thought I had. As you walk in the front door, the wine cellar is like, oh hello, it's a little peekaboo mm -hmm. moment. And again, that's the dark joinery. In the study, you've got the dark joinery. You've got the dark joinery in the mudroom scullery. So I think there's little areas that have the dark elements. So the doorway that goes from the kitchen into the scullery, there will be an oak door. Oh, okay. So it will be able to be closed off if we need it. We'll soften it a little bit. Yeah, well. yeah. But I quite, a, I kind of like the fact that it's... I do as well. You know, it's, just, it's a little bit more moody yeah just for example let me show you this one image so again here I mean you've got the warmer white mm. on the seat cushions you've got the darker joinery the leather the copper detail for the hooks and I think in terms of concept this is very much the direction that we want to go but again look here I mean you've got the oak on the floor yeah. which just ties in all three of these elements now looking at all these finishes and like all the textures together I think you're really really onto something I think it's gonna be beautiful oh, no, I just can't wait to see it all installed I and know. Okay, brilliant. Let's sign it off. <laughs> when our Caesar stone arrived, I just couldn't believe how beautiful they looked. Each piece of Caesar stone gets cut and polished to fit together like a puzzle. And when I saw them being installed, I just absolutely loved them. I feel like this is the first time that I'm really getting excited again about moving in. Kind of actually excited to do dishes. Yeah. We've waited for weeks and now it's the wrong doors. I really wanted our shaker profile on our door to be very, very minimalist, like kind of like our kitchen, a lot slimmer. And I see now that they just use their standard shaker profile and not the one I've requested. And we waited weeks on these interior doors. It might work because the space is quite big, but I'm just concerned for inside the bedrooms if it's just gonna feel too heavy. I think the fact that we're painting it the same color as the walls and as the trims, I don't think you're gonna notice it. It is fine.
It's been a long road to get to where we are and today I'm going to show you some of the darker elements which you haven't seen yet. So we're going to start off with the wine cellar. It is the first thing that you see as you open the door. So what we've done is we've used the Calapana Super Map by PG Bison in here together with the rugged concrete by Caesarstone. We had two offcuts as part of our slab and this was just the perfect moment to be able to use that. It is just a home run. So once you've walked in the front door, grabbed your glass of wine, then you are welcome inside. This is our upstairs landing. This is where we've been able to create the pajama lounge that we really, really wanted. We don't have a separate TV room or a playroom in the house, and so we needed a space for the kids just to kind of hold them at bay for an hour so they get to watch some TV in the mornings while we get the occasional lie-in. Now that you've seen the upstairs TV lounge, let's head downstairs so that I can show you the main living space. So this is our living space and I just absolutely love how it all pulled together. In terms of the design concept that we've applied to this space, as you'll see, it is very monochromatic. I love the concept of slow design, minimal living, so for me, um, going black and white just felt very, very natural. I love, love, love how these areas speak to one another. This has been designed with gathering in mind. It's all about entertaining. So our kitchen opens up onto our dining area, which has got the focal point of the swimming pool. That was our thinking behind that. So this is our study area. At the moment, as you can imagine, everybody needs a work from home situation. So the one was I wanted the metal doors. I love them. So this was my moment for those. And then the herringbone floor. And this is where we are able to keep all those files and paperwork that everyone wants hidden away, printers, all that stuff. This area is our mudroom slash gallery. We wanted to have an area when the kids come home from school and they come through the garage, this is where their bags can hang just to have that landing zone so that not everything gets brought into the house itself. So the rugged concrete by Caesar stone is the stone that we've used in here and it pairs perfectly with the Tribeca Corner colour from Plascon, which we've used on our cabinetry. And that, together with the brass knob details, in my opinion, is pure magic. We designed the house just purely with family in mind. It just also gave us a great chance to incorporate a separate living space for my parents. And it's for us just about how can we all be together and our home is given that opportunity. When I think back to the early days in the build and walking on this very slab and seeing the walls come up and eventually when the actual slab came on top and formed the ceiling and you started getting a feel of the space, it felt massive. But I remember looking at the fireplace and thinking, that's where we're gonna have a fire burning and trying to imagine what the walls would look like when they were painted and rendered. I think back to that often as I walk through the space and I look at it now. It's everything that I imagined it might be and more. It's just an incredible space. I can't believe that we are finally through this process and we have built our dream family home and just the blessing of being able to enjoy it together now, I think that's just incredible. Time to make some memories. If you are looking to create a space like a mudroom in your home, these are just a few pointers that you can remember. First of all, storage is super important. We obviously have a working family home I couldn't do without storage. So make sure you have lots and lots and lots of it. You can never get enough storage. Then I'd also say just because there is a wall, it doesn't mean that something has to be on it. So don't be afraid of those blank spaces. A design makes sense when there are spaces for your eye just to rest and land. Thirdly, and this is probably the most important thing you are designing for you so create a space that you absolutely love trends are important be inspired obviously but create a space that you want to be in so make sure it's something that you absolutely love if you're not loving your kitchen and it's in need of a revamp, then make sure that you enter to stand a chance to win one of three Kitchen Design Masterclasses with me, as well as 20% off your next Caesarstone purchase. All you have to do is go to caesarstone.co.za to enter. This is just the beginning of our very exciting design process. Make sure you stay tuned for more behind the scenes and inspiring videos on Caesarstone Essays YouTube channel.